So the first things we're going to look at here in terms of hypothesis tests are our two basic units around which we build the whole process, the null and alternative hypothesis. First, for the null hypothesis, which we denote H0 or HO or H null, hypothesis null as it were, is some statement that we have that involves an equality of a form, either is equal to, is at most, is at least, something where we are supposing there is an exact value that we expect to build around. In our last cases, that would be something like the idea that the proportion was exactly 51%, or the average was exactly 50 miles to the gallon. This is usually what we are claiming, as it were. This is usually what we are expecting, to an extent, that the information we have, the information we're building from, is, or at least was, reasonable, and we're going to be comparing it to the alternative hypothesis H sub A, which is our statement that includes some form of inequality, either not equal to, less than, or greater than. So this would be something like the idea that the average was smaller, or that the, av or that the proportion, excuse me, had changed. And more broadly, if we want to think about what each of these things are and what they look like in terms of symbols, what our statement for HO, our null hypothesis, looks like might be something like is greater than or equal to, at least, no less than, no shorter than, in which case we would say something like H0 is the statement, mu is at most, mu is greater than or equal to some value k, where our alternative would be that it is less, it is smaller than, it is shorter than, it is fewer than, and we can make those same sort of statements for proportions, or if we want to as well, other parameters. Similarly, for a inequality going in the other direction, we have the same type of ideas where we'd say it is less than or equal to compared to it is greater than, or it is above as compared to it is at most. And then finally, for the direct equals not equals case, we say things like it is equal to, or it is not equal to, it is exactly, or it is different, and so on down the line. Where no matter how we perform our test, no matter how we take our information, what sort of information we have, whenever we're performing a hypothesis test, there's always this part in the back of our mind, it's always this little tacit assumption that our null is at least reasonable in some regard. In our test, because it's always built around that piece of information about the population, always kind of assumes that that's reasonable. So when we make our final conclusion, that we're not going to see for a little while, but just bear in the back of your mind that when we're making our conclusion, our conclusion is always in terms of whether or not we have found some sort of support for our null hypothesis, or if you want to think of it in a different way, whether or not we have found evidence to conclude that we can reject that null hypothesis. And we'll see more about what that means later when we actually get to perform some tests. But for now, let's just get a quick example for how we can formulate something like this in terms of some statements.